Hello and welcome to Helsinki and the ICANN 56 Policy Forum. I'm here with Steve Crocker and Joran Marby. Welcome. Hi. So Steve, you've been to a lot of ICANN meetings. How has this new format changed the discussions? Uh, the new format has actually had uh, a big effect, more than I had uh, expected it might, um, in two ways. First of all, we reduced the level of formality without the welcome uh, ceremony and uh, public forums and so forth. Uh, I've gotten nothing but positive uh, reactions, actually. Uh, more interaction among people, more satisfaction that uh, different groups could talk to each other. So uh, it feels like it's a pretty big success. We're going to wait to see what the reactions are. We'll do a more careful uh, survey, I'm sure. Um, but it's, uh, it's really been quite um, refreshing. Joran, you've been talking a lot about ICANN's role here. What's your perspective? This, been a, this has been a very good meeting because in a sort of way, just focusing on the policies has been very good for us because with the new bylaws and going forward and the way we describe the ICANN organization being a support organization for policy works. It's kind of been a test bed for that. And so far, I understand that people appreciate it. Um, and I'm very happy to be here in Helsinki, which is also my first real ICANN meeting to really work with policies. So you're in, the NTIA recently released their report on the IANA stewardship transition package. Where do things stand? Well, of course, what we do right now is to focus very much on deliverables um, all the yellow flags uh, coming up to the transition. So far, everything looks good. Uh, or we, are, we are on time on everything. But it's uh, together with the community to, to implement the decisions from this community is our priority right now. Steve, this, this meeting saw the start of the Workstream 2 of I, enhancing ICANN accountability. What should we be looking out for? It's a good question. Uh, there's several things. Um, it's the nature of these kinds of uh, operations where you divide things up into Workstream 1 and Workstream 2 that uh, it's uh, a challenge a bit to see how much of what's been uh, delayed or deferred to Workstream 2 actually gets done or whether it gets deferred and deferred further. Uh, so one of the things that w I think everybody's going to be looking for is how quickly Workstream 2 is going to shape up, have a specific schedule, specific set of deliverables. Um, we also uh, incurred enormous cost during Workstream 1, and there's sensitivity about that. So as part of the uh, shaping up of the uh, schedule and the agenda for Workstream 2, there will also be considerable attention on the discipline for the budget. And so, Steve, we recently announced the thousandth delegation of a new generic top-level domain. That's a major milestone for the program. What, what's the uh, discussion about a next round? Well, uh, as, you, as you said, uh, the thousandth one uh, is not only a milestone because it's a nice round number, but it also means that we're very close to the end of the uh, processing all the applications that we had. Um, and the next round is very much under discussion. Um, there's uh, uh, multiple pressures, uh, some that are shaping up of how quickly can we get it going again, and others that say, well, we've got to be very careful to learn the lessons out of the current one, make the adjustments, and so that tension is uh, playing itself out. Um, I think from the board's perspective, we're uh, listening intently and uh, don't want this to be a, an overly extended process, and on the other hand, we do want to be uh, do the appropriate due diligence. Um, everybody's asking, well, when, what date, what date? And that turns out to be the hardest thing. It's like predicting the stock market. Uh, and we can sort of tell general directions, but uh, can't tell you the exact date. Okay. Joran, this was your first meeting as ICANN CEO. What's your uh, experience been like? <clears throat> Extremely long days. I, I, I'm, I'm so impressed. Uh, by people coming to this meeting. Um, when I was in Marrakesh, everything was very f new and I met a lot of people. This time I had the opportunity to interact with people. And I'm really happy to see so many passionate people engaging in this. I have to admit that some of those things that we talk about is still very hard for me to understand, especially all the acronyms. Uh, but to see these passionate people coming in to do, really, really do something that's to improve internet for everybody, uh, that's that's what I take with me, and it gives me comfort going forward. Steve Yoren, thank you very much, and we'll see you at ICANN 57 in Hyderabad. Looking forward to it. Very much looking forward to it. Thank you very much.